As David Moyes mused on defeat at Anfield, he expressed surprise that Liverpool actually counter-attacked us more than we did them. Yet in his post-game analysis the West Ham boss will surely reflect that this latest incarnation of Klopp's Liverpool team is perfectly equipped to counter. Quietly, Klopp has built a completely new forward line. With Darwin Nunez's emergence after a season of struggles giving the Reds a third prong to a front three that is devastating on the break. There is, arguably, more pace than his famous front three which won everything. And without question a more direct style, with the muscular running of Nunez and Luis Diaz, along with Mo Salah's intelligent movement. Already this season, that live penetration has turned contests that looked lost. And it makes Liverpool a dangerous, difficult opponent once more, as Klopp acknowledged with a broad smile afterwards. Yeah, it is promising ISNT it. We have to get used to different things so we have further to go, but we can be difficult to stop on the counter. He said the penalty came from a counter-attack, and that looks positive. You look at this team and these boys are good footballers, when they have a great day then they are extremely good. But in liking the development we have too. When it doesn't go so well for us, we are showing the right reaction. And at the moment that is important, because we have to become this kind of team where it is really difficult to deal with. That is Klopp's mantra. He wants his side to be the team everyone hates playing against. He wants them to give defenders nightmares with their pace, strength and persistence. He wants his midfield to press with incision, to put pressure on that crack's opponents. He wants them to be a nightmare. That was one of the features of the first great team he built at Anfield, but now his Liverpool 2.0 as he now calls it. Have taken some of that cussed mentality, and added some new qualities. Nunez has been a revelation since his pace and direct running turned a lost cause at Newcastle and gave Liverpool the momentum which has seen them win every game since. The front three's ability to attack with such direct threat looks a devastating combination. Especially, because an experienced Salah appears to know instinctively how to use his sublime movement to create the space for the others to run into dot, but this hasn't arrived by accident. Klopp has been able to build such a dangerous front line because he now has far more passing range in midfield. New signing Alexis McAllister provided a brilliant ball for Nunez's goal against West Ham, and Dominic Sobarsly has that ability too. Dot. Add to that Trent Alexander-Arnold's subtly altered position. When he returns from injury, which allows him to pass from central midfield. And the return of Thiago, and suddenly there are releasing the venomous pace from all over the pitch. Dot. And if that doesn't work, then Klopp can call on Cody Gakpo to replicate the Firmino role as a false nine to draw defenders out. And Diogo Hotter's nose for a goal in the tightest of penalty areas, as he showed against the Hammers. There is more to come though, which given Liverpool are second in the Premier League and favourites to win the Europa League, is a warning to their opponents. We will get better, we are still getting used to the different style. But when we are playing well we can be really dangerous, and when not we are really solid. That is how you get consistency and that is what we are aiming for, Klopp said, as he heralded a brighter future. Will Liverpool win any trophies this season? Let us know your predictions in the comments below. Thanks for watching.